What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you quickly about my next goal, which is a sub 40 minute 10K and the plan that I'm gonna to use to get there. But first, cue montage. Easy run this morning. I did cut it short because I woke up that little bit later. So uh, 6.66 Ks at 5.15 per K. Um, I've noticed that those recovery runs, those easy runs, they're getting quicker and quicker at the moment. And no matter what I do, they're just not slowing down. And it's not because I'm trying to increase that pace. It's just that they're just getting quicker, um, which is sort of highlighting how my fitness is improving. But today, I want to talk a little bit about my Next goal, which is sub 40 minute 10K at the Clifton Beach Road Race and the training plan that I'm gonna to use to get myself from there. So the race is in seven weeks time. So I've got a seven week training plan. I've got some baseline data that I'm starting off and then um, I've got a fairly detailed plan on how I'm gonna get there. There are some key things that underpin it the whole way through. Let's talk first about the baseline data that I started with. First of all, we've got my last seven weeks um, I've run every day around six to eight to nine to 10 Ks a day. And in that, uh, and in the last four to five weeks especially, I've only had three hard runs. The rest of it's all been easy. So it's all been base building sort of stuff. On Saturday, I did a 5K test at a, park, a local park run. So I went down a local park run, ran 5K, it did it in 1920. So that's really my starting point. So I plugged that 1920 into a calculator. Now we can take these calculators with a grain of salt. They imply a lot of things, but they give us a bit of an idea of where we're at and is our goal realistic. So when I plug that into the Tin Man calculator, uh, I get 40 minutes and 16 seconds as the equivalent 10K race pace to uh, the 1920 5K that I did on the weekend. It says that I'm already around about the mark. And I think that's about right. I would be pretty close to 40 minutes if I went out and ran a 10K tomorrow. So seven weeks worth of work, I should be able to get myself well under that 40 minute mark and hopefully uh, even pushing towards a 39 minute mark. That would be my A goal. What's the plan gonna look like to get there? It's gonna be broken up into two phases. Uh, block one, which is more of a build phase, so building towards the type of workouts that I wanna be capable of doing to be successful at that 10K pace. And then a recovery week, okay, where I drop everything back, take it easy, let the body absorb the training. And then a quick three week speed phase where I've got two weeks of maintaining those harder workouts and trying to increase the pace at which I'm doing those harder workouts. And then a one week taper. So what I'm hoping for is that by doing that, I can just sharpen up my 10K pace. So build my speed endurance that little bit and sharpen up my 10K pace. So I'll bring the first block up on the screen. So as you can see, four week block, three weeks of building, okay, to, and then a one week recovery at the end. So I've got three key workouts that I'm trying to hit. Tuesday is a tempo days, okay? That's my favorite day. That's my favorite workout to hit. Uh, so building that tempo up to eventually a 30 minute tempo. So by the end of this phase, I'll be at a 28 minute tempo and then I'll just increase by that two minutes uh, after the recovery week. Uh, yesterday I did that tempo, 20 minute tempo, 4.66 Ks at 4.18 per kilometer. Felt good, um, felt really, really in control and really comfortable. So the next workout that I'm focusing on, and this is to build my top end speed a little bit. Um, I'd like to bring, make myself that little bit sharper. I focused on endurance. I'm pretty comfortable with my ability to last a 10K race. I just wanna do it quicker. 
So to build that speed, I'm focusing on doing fast 400s. Um, and I want to build towards doing 15 400s in a session. I know 10 400s is doable for me right now. Um, and so I'm just over the next three weeks, gradually building towards that 15 400s. Okay. And then I'll maintain that in the second phase. The last thing that's going to be quite different to how I've ever trained before is because this is only a 10k race and I've got the mileage behind me, I know that I can last the distance. I don't need to do long runs or your stereotypical long runs to build up towards that pace. What I'm going to use my long run for is another workout that's actually a 10k race specific workout. So on Saturdays aiming to do, so the first one's gonna be eight by 1K at that four minute 10K pace. Okay, week two, building that, uh, so decreasing the number of intervals and increasing the length of the intervals. So the following week it's four by 2Ks at that four, four minute uh, per K pace. And then last week, this is the key workout that I wanna be able to achieve, three by 3K. Um, and doing that at the four minute pace. Bunch of easy runs in between that I do those there, my bread and butter. So that's the plan for the first block um, to try and build towards those workouts. The key thing that underpins this whole plan and how I'm running at the moment is moving away from that idea of you have to hit these sessions. This is my ideal, this is what I wanna get done, but I've got a young family, I've gotta keep that in mind. So what I'm prioritizing is I'm going, okay, I'm going to run for at least 20 to 30 minutes every day, okay? Ideally, if it's a Saturday, I'm gonna get out and I'm gonna do my eight by 1K workout. If I don't do that, if I can't do that, we have a shocking night with Elliot, you know, kids are awake, whatever, I'm gonna be okay with it. I just get out for 20 or 30 minutes that day. That's what I prioritize. I'm not gonna move the workout to another day. I'm just not gonna play that game because that never works for me. I'm just going to do the workouts that I can do. And then every other day, run at least 20 to 30 minutes. If I can get a 45 minute run in, then I'm happy. And what I've, what I've found over the last couple of months of doing that is that my fitness, because of the consistency, my fitness has gone through the roof. Moving on to block two. So this is a three week block. So this is where I'm just sticking to those full length of those workouts. So the 30, 30 minute tempo, um, the 15 400s and the three by three K workout. But what I'm trying to do each week is just bring the pace down that little bit in each one of those workouts. The tempo one, I'll probably leave as it is. Okay, I'll probably just keep trying to hit the same targets cause that's just building that aerobic engine. The speed workout, I'm gonna try and sharpen those right up. And then the uh, long run workouts. The first one, I'll try at 355s. If I hit that, I'll bring it down again for the next week. If I don't hit that 355 mark for each of those three by three Ks in that first week, I'm not gonna try and bring it down in the second week. I'm gonna try again to hit it the following week. Okay, that three by three K from all the reading and stuff that I've done, a lot of people are saying that that's a really good workout to test where you're at for your 10K. Ideally, if in that week before the race, I can hit three by three K at 350s, that tells me I should be able to go out at around about 350 pace for the, for the 10K race. Okay, if I can't hit that, then I've got to adjust my target slightly. Okay, and that's what I'm that's what I plan to do. All right, then taper week, following a similar structure, I won't do a long workout on the Saturday, just do an easy jog on the Saturday, and then race day on the Sunday. So that's my plan. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, it's the first time that I've actually just developed a plan from go to woe uh, by myself without going to a sort of mass produced or commercially produced plan and adjusting it from there. This is the first time I've really just gone, nah, I'm gonna start with from scratch myself and create it the way I wanna create a plan. Um, each session has uh, a key goal, something that I'm trying to focus on. Hopefully by knowing exactly what I wanna do for each session, I'll be more targeted and more focused with each one. So that's the aim. Uh, hopefully trying to get it done as much as I can. And like I said just before, at any stage, if I can't do a workout, 
not going to do the workout. I'm just going to do the 20 to 30 minutes that I know that I can carve out each day to get a run in because it's the consistency that is paying off for me at the moment, not doing workouts. All right, so that's my plan. Uh, make sure you hit subscribe if you want to follow along and see what's happening. That race is November the 14th, Clifton Beach Road Race. If you're local to Cairns, it's only 20 bucks to sign up and you get two races for that 20 bucks sign up registration fee. Highly recommend it. It's a beautiful, beautiful run. You're just running along Clifton Beach and Palm Cove uh, Esplanades uh, with a little bit of bush in between. It's absolutely stunning and one of my favorite local races to be a part of. Um, I'd love to see as many of you come down and register and be a part of it as possible. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Any comments, any questions about my training plan, love to hear it down in the comments below. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye now.